Hey guys, over here. Um, just a quick explanation on how to lower your E55 or any of your air medic vehicles. Um, this will be the same for most Mercedes and they have a very similar system, so it's pretty straightforward. Here we go. Some of the tools I used are just a standard pry bar, uh, a magnet for losing things, uh, a magnet because I lost some stuff, um, long needle nose pliers, Bull nose pliers, I don't think I use those. Got a couple of 10 mil spanners, um, a nine mil, that was for holding the um, the new link and tightening up. 10 mil, an extension, so that's for the rear. And these, um, uh, so bent long nose pliers and circuit pliers to pop off the, the, new, the old links. Um, on the rear, what you do is when you found the link, the, the part with the sensor on it, you can unbolt it and remove it. And that way you can get to both ends and pull them off and do what you need to do. All right, so the first thing you want to do is measure what your car is currently sitting at. I uh, currently have this car set in the lowest setting and there's our heights there in millimeters. Now, next thing is to uh, jack this thing up, put some axle stands under it and get the first front links out. With the uh, car safely jacked up, you can see up there, I hope you can see up there, the link. Let's put the mic down here. So, just here is the link, and it just pops off these ball joints here. Just be very careful not to bend anything. Take this one off, and then set the, depending how low you want to go, set the new ones. Only a few mils difference from these. So we have one arm out of the front. Now as a hot tech tip, do you want to give the hot tech tip? No, you don't want to give the hot tech tip. So my dad, who's got this hot tech tip, suggested to use these, um, what are these called? Circuit pliers. Circuit pliers. And instead of pulling this off and breaking the plastic arm, which could be easily be done, is put these between this part and the arm and pop them off and in doing it was very easy they popped off and nothing was stressed in doing so all right so we have uh, two front links here um, I set one at the height that I want to go with um, and then just measured the overall and set the second one to that all right so what we want to do here is we want to fit the rubber grommet that's the rubber grommet onto the ball here like that so it seals the connection so I might have to put the camera down and come back all right there you go so you got rubber grommet there and rubber grommet up there and the ball will come on here and there'll be a fairly good seal there um, we'll put some grease on the end of here all right so with a bit of a push they pop on um, but what you want to do is remove these little pins first then install the pins to make it a bit easier for yourself but they do pop on and then clip on a little bit uh, then you pop your pins in and that's on there secure now let's go do the other side the rear link is located on the passenger side of the vehicle up above the diff you can see it up there there's one side this is the exhaust diff and there's the sensor in on the arm if you can see that Okay. So it's actually in a bit of a bitch of a place. So somehow I've got to get up there and pop those off and get the new one out. Yay! This is the uh, finished result. So the rear was definitely a bit more of a bitch than the um, than the front. This is on the lowest setting. As you can see, we got it, the tires well up in the arches, so that's good. It doesn't rub the arches at all, so pretty good fitment on the wheels. And moving to the front, front's a little bit higher, but um, again, I drive this quite hard, so it's probably perfect for me, hitting bumps and stuff.